Emily Attic looks glamorous in a white satin gown as she channels Hollywood star Marilyn Monroe. For Keith Lemon's birthday bash, Emily Attic appeared to channel 1950s Hollywood icon Marilyn Monroe on Saturday as she celebrated Keith Lemon's birthday at Soho House in White City. The actress, 33, looked glamorous in a white off-the-shoulder dress with a thigh-high split and a matching wrap which she draped over her shoulders. She boosted her height in a pair of white strappy heels and accessorized with pearl drop earrings. Emily, who was a team captain on Keith's ITV2 show Celebrity Juice before it ended in December last year, wore a curled blonde wig and lashings of makeup, including a bold red lip. She arrived with a friend who wore a glamorous red dress and purple loves. Having done herself up as Jessica Rabbit for the night, many of the stars took to their Instagram pages to share pictures of themselves in their costumes at the star-studded movie-themed 50th birthday celebration of comedian Lee Francis. Emily was seen posing with her arm around Lee, also known as Keith Lemon. With the funny man dressed as Star Wars character R2-D2, Keith took to Instagram ahead of his birthday to joke about his age jesting he was as old as some retro items. He wrote, My birthday tomorrow. I'm as old as hashtag Atari. Hash the excoursist hash McDonald's McMuffin hash Pharrell Williams hash Tyra Banks. Hash Neve Campbell hash Dave Chappelle hashtag Swamp Thing. It comes after Mail Online revealed Emily had scrapped her own ITV2 comedy show after three series. The former Inbetweeners star launched The Emily Attic Show in November 2020, nearly two years after finishing runner-up in I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and it proved a hit with young audiences. But the actress has decided to shelve the series in favor of her starring role in raunchy new Disney Plus show Rivals, which is an adaption of Jilly Cooper's steamy 1988 novel. A TV insider told Mail Online. The show means so much to Emily. But she felt it was the right time to move on. There are no plans to make another one. It takes a lot of work and dedication and other commitments this year meant it would be hard to give another series her all. She'll always be proud of it as not many female stars have been able to make their own stand-up comedy show. The Emily Attic show combines stand-up with various sketches, including impressions of stars including Holly Willoughby and Gemma Collins. Her stand-up routines regularly contained anecdotes from her dating and love life, including a time she claimed to be having a three-way relationship with a married couple. Despite shelving plans to make a fourth series this year, Emily hasn't ruled out bringing the show back some time in the future. A spokesperson for Emily said, The Emily Attic show has been a great success so far and Emily is discussing future opportunities about the series. But because Emily is flat-out filming for her new Disney Plus show she hasn't had a moment to sit down and write new material or commit to any filming dates. She's hoping she will have time to revisit the Emily Attic show in 2024. An ITV source added, whilst there are no plans for a new series in 2023, it was a great show and one that could appear on forthcoming schedules in the future. Emily's steamy new drama rivals features a stellar cast, including former Doctor Who David Tennant, ex-Eastenders star Danny Dyer, Paul Dark Hunk Aidan Turner, and Sex Education's Bella McLean. The I'm a Celeb star plays Sarah Stratton, the new wife to Deputy Prime Minister. Paul Stratton, played by W1A actor Rufus Jones, who is ambitious and not afraid to use her looks to get to the top. Emily will reportedly reprise the famous scene in the book where her character strips off and plays tennis naked with her lover. In January, Emily explored the reasons why she's sexually harassed online on a daily basis. Through her BBC documentary Asking For It? The comedic actress broke down in tears recalling the number of unwanted sexual messages and photographs she receives, explaining there's not a day that goes by where she isn't sent. Explicit pictures of male genitals. Speaking in the documentary, she said, It is the ultimate disrespect. It is the ultimate thing of going. I think you're easy access and you're up for it. 
The star explained that the situation worsened for her during lockdown, later visiting schoolgirls and teenage boys to get to the bottom why society has learned to accept this behavior.